Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, Before You Buy video. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at the pit recruitment bundle that you can buy from your Xbox store, I believe PlayStation store. I never played on PlayStation on PC. You can buy it, I believe, from the actual website and Steam, if I'm not mistaken. So, this bundle you can purchase only via cash, not atoms, as this uh, specific bundle is currently not a in the atomic shop why I say it's not in the atomic shop at the moment because I think it might at some future get into the atomic shop like it happened with the settlers bundle I believe with the Raiders bundle they made it to the atomic shop although before they were also sold on the stores like for real cash only uh, so at the moment as of recording this video uh, it's only by money not atoms so it's not the atomic shop bundle. have that in mind Alright, so as you can see on the background, I'm going to be showing you the Fanatic Paint for 10mm uh, SMG. I also did a few tests with uh, the display cases, so you'll be able to see how it looks. I made a couple of few versions, so I'm going to show you that in a second. And then we have the plushie, we have the power armor, and we also have the Fusion Core uh, Recharger, which I also made a test. I've placed it on a recharge uh, at 12.49 uh, p.m. my time. Right now it's 11. Uh, it's 1 p.m. so just like what 10 minutes passed uh, and we'll see how much it recharged and essentially I'm gonna try to get in as much details as possible uh, and of course I will have the timestamps down in the video description so you can maneuver through the video with ease and take a look on a specific item that you are more interested in taking a look at so let's stop wasting time and jump right into it and I do like to remind you that I am from Ukraine so sometimes I mispronounce stuff so if I do Please do correct me down in the comments. And if obviously, if you have any suggestions, feedback on any of the items that uh, I'm sharing my feedback, feel free to share yours. So let's stop wasting time, jump right into it. Alright, so let's get started with the actual 10mm uh, SMG Fanatic Paint. So as you can see right here, later on I'm going to show you how the gun looks like when you're holding it. Uh, first person and third person, but right now as you can see it shows pretty perfectly on the regular uh, display case, the one that we got, and everybody should have this, uh, with the big one. Not the small one, the small one is only for like, uh, I think, knives, uh, pistols, and stuff like that. So then we got the high power uh, atomic shot version, <laughs> which I thought it was gonna get. Uh, by now, it should have been fixed. I mean, this thing has been out forever, and you know, uh, with all this going on in Ukraine, plus I was a little bit bored from the game. I haven't been playing for months, maybe six months, if not more. And uh, there were a lot of pleasant changes where I was uh, surprised. But today, when I started recording this uh, video. I thought maybe this thing was fixed, but I guess not. So we always have issues with this display case. So if you see at the Atomic Shop, uh, this display case coming out, uh, do have in mind that it's kind of broken. I mean, it kind of works okay with uh, heavy guns, uh, but with anything <laughs> small, it just uh, kind of like <laughs> eats the gun. So definitely is not working good for this one. And my favorite display case, this one, are the hunting ones, uh, I always recommend it when they come out in the Atomic Shop because, uh, I mean, it works, it looks good, I mean, I like it, it's up to you to decide. So these are all the types uh, versions of uh, the skin. So as you can see, on like there is a drum, and you can see there is a skeleton over there, so, boom. Over, if you have the magazine it will say pit so yeah that's how it looks like from different versions made so this is where you don't have a handle don't have a handle uh, then I also had another version oh yeah here we go so with the stocking as you can see it's a little bit different as well I mean overall the, the skin is good I like it all I need is a good a good gun so I can actually uh, use it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna pick up... I like this one to be honest, I don't like the drum. And uh, uh, let's find it real quick. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong section. Where's the gun? Fanatic. Boom. 
So third person you can only view it like this. That's how it looks like. I mean as I said personally I really love this uh, skin. It's actually really really nice. First person mode. Oh, huh. not as not as if you can see a whole a whole bu bunch of it. Anyway, so I hope this is more than enough to make you at least get a feel on what is this skin all about and uh, what is your takeaway on the skin. Do you like it? You don't don't like it? Comment down below. Now let's move on to the Fusion Core uh, Recharger. Oh yeah, just in case, I did forget to mention how do you apply the paint, just in case if you don't know how to apply paints to weapons. So once you've purchased the bundle and it was installed, or you have it already, uh, then you go to any of the weapon workshops. Uh, you do need to have a 10mm submachine gun already. So if you don't have one, you can craft one, you can find one, you can find one. <laughs> Loot one. Uh, once you have it, you apply your mods, whichever you have, and then you go to, well, it's going to be at start like this, so default appearances, and then you go uh, to the mods, essentially, and you find the fanatic paint, and you click, and you apply, and you're done, and you use the skin. Now, let's move on. Alright, just a little experiment. I'm putting this fusion core on a charge uh, sign. And as we can see right now, it's 38 out of 100. And I'm still in process of recording this video. And right now, it's 12:49 p.m. for me. So let's see how much it will charge uh, with a time difference. All right. So the Fusion Core uh, recharger. Uh, in order to build it, you will need to navigate to your build menu and then to the section called Resources, and then you will be able to find it here in your dropdown, right? Which basically means that you cannot build these uh, at your uh, vaults because that section is not available at your vault. So you can only build it uh, at your camp in the world and not in your vaults. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it took me some time to figure that out since I haven't played for a while. I was like looking at, at, at the inside the vault. I'm like, where the hell is it? I'm like, oh, hold on, not all items can be built. Let me go back to my camp. I'm like, oh, it's a resource thing. Oh. Dang it, I forgot you can't build resources in, in vaults. But there you go. So uh, that's one point. Uh, the other thing is you can build only one. So you can't have, you can spam your entire camp and have all, as many as you want. You can build only one. It does require uh, 20 power or electricity, right? Uh, so have that in mind. And yeah, so that's how it looks like. I mean, the design, it kind of like. Well, it's still okay. It does some animations and stuff like that. Like that glowing over there, some sparks. <laughs> well, okay. How much you want to bet that soon we're going to get skins for this thing? <laughs> I guarantee it. I'm telling you, we're going to get skins for this thing. Uh, Yeah, so, I mean, that's my thinking. I'm not stating that that's the case. Alright, so, I think you had enough of how visually it looks. But how does it perform? So as you uh, saw, uh, I put the one of my cores on the recharge when it was 38 out of 100, and for me it was that time, 12:49 uh, p.m. So right now it's 1:12 p.m. So it's like what a little bit over 20 minutes, right? So let's see what happened to it. So enter, and. Uh, it's alright, I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not a power armor user, I just use the excavator power armor to go to the lucky hole mines to drill my lead. Or lead, I always mispronounce that stuff. Lead, 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 I'm pretty sure it's lead. Uh, so that's the only when I use these cores, and uh, I usually have them for some reason in my backpack all the time which I don't know where the hell they're getting from I guess a lot of looting I don't usually look what I loot but it is what it is so here we go and uh, another side note you can only charge uh, four <coughs> excuse me, uh, four so you cannot go more than that so you can assign and assign and assign so there we go I don't know why the others are charging because they're like a hundred out of a hundred so uh, it would be nice 
I don't know if I you say I don't have enough fusion cores to test this out so uh, could you comment down below uh, if you know how this works a little bit more and if you could test as well what if you load it up with a whole bunch of uh, uh, fusion cores right will it like kind of like recycle like for example you got 20 uh, empty fusion cores you put four on the charge and they charge and then uh, you know they kind of like <laughs> replace themselves well I think this is a dreamland because uh, I don't think that's gonna be working as is because usually Bethesda doesn't think it this way. But if it did, I would be very well, very well surprised. It would be cool if it could uh, rotate and charge all of the cores uh, as long as they are in the stash. So, by the way, do have in mind that you have uh, available stash limit, right? So you can put those cores in there. But at the moment, to what I know is that you can charge four at a time, and uh, once they're charged, you just take them up and put them in your power armor and go woo, kill things <laughs> uh, yeah so I believe that's all I wanted to say about the fusion core charger uh, since I'm not a power armor user I don't really need it so it's useless for me but I mean it's still good for all those power armor uh, users so if you use your power armor a lot maybe this bundle uh, would make your life a little bit easier <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's not waste time here and jump to the power armor skin. Why not? I mean, we just talked about how to charge it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go over the actual power armor paint. Right now, I'm going to show you how it looks like uh, once it's standing on a display case. Uh, the actual power from all sides. Uh, to what I know, and I've tested with all my power armor suits that I have, it works on all of them, including the Hellcat. So this is the Hellcat that we're looking at, one of the new power armors. So uh, it it is working on all power armors. So there we go. That's how the skin is looking like. It's all right. I mean, as I said, I'm not the best power armor user. Sometimes I like to play around with all the power armor paints that I've got and kind of like, um, you know, make a different crazy good looking power armor. <laughs> oh, oops. I actually put that away. I need that back. So basically, uh, I usually just mess around and just put different parts of paints and make it look good. Alright, so now let's go inside the power armor and have a little bit more deep dive of the actual skin. Boom. There, there we go. Make sure we find some paws or something. Yeah, look at that. Well, honestly, I would say I've seen better. The Raider power armor definitely, like from the Raider bundle, was dope. This thing is, I don't know. Uh, not 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 my type. The pit. Okay. Is that supposed to be like that? Hmm. Let's put away the uh, pause. Pose. Alright, so the power armor, it's okay. I mean, my point of view, you, you might like it. <laughs> Got no complaints over there. I mean, uh, tell me what you think about this power armor. Uh, but it is what it is from first person view. It doesn't block you or anything because we do ha we did have some power armors which would block half of your screen once you're in first person. As we can see, this one is does not do it so. So it's safe. <laughs> Safe to use. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next slide. Well, what do you think about this power armor? Oh yeah, once again, I forgot to mention, in case if you do not know how to apply the power armor paint, is that as soon as you've uh, acquired the bundle, you will need your uh, power armor station or any that you find outside in the world. Essentially, you will need your power armor. This is my excavator power armor, you know. Yeah, it looks crazy, huh? Anyway, so once you put it out, then you go modify and repair. Then you select the part of the body that you would like to change, right? 
uh, and you change it. So as you can see, I got a whole bunch of it. So in our case, you will need to go to letter F and go find Fanatic Paint and apply. So once you apply all that stuff to all of this, like Mr. Fuzzy Helmet, let's remove that so you can clearly see it on the background. Boom, there's your Fanatic Paint. But I'm not going to be applying it because I like the way my excavator power armor looks like right now. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's how you apply the skin uh, to the power. All right, so the next item we're going to be looking at is the Torg plushie, the toy. As you can see, here we go. Uh, in order to make it, you need to go to your uh, oh, boy, yeah, to your build menu, and uh, then you go to the floor decor. Then you go and find the section where you got all of your plushies. Uh, atomic shop and regular ones that you can unlock by playing events and stuff like that and then you just go and find uh, that trog 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 <laughs> as I said sometimes I mispronounce stuff and you build them so there you go I have it here on the statue so let me go into the photo mode show you how it looks like there you go Ugh. You look nasty, eh? I mean, for collect collection, if you like collecting things, you will have one more good-looking dude. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so that's pretty much it. Remember, in order to build it, floor decor, in the section on the left, you find all of your plushies, your toys, and then you just scroll through and find the one that you're looking for let's move on all right and the final part of this bundle would be the Pittsburgh neighborhood camp kit uh, now a side note I'm not the best camp builder out there also in the past I think it was season 8 I confused those kids because they are not usually named properly and I've shown totally different from what it was so I hope this time I'm not making a mistake and according to the screenshots I'm not <laughs> so I really hope that I'm gonna get this right so I'm gonna show you a couple of things how it the it looks like then I'm we're gonna go into the build menu and I'll show them individually how you can I mean where you can find them to build them just kinda like rotate and stuff like that but I'm not gonna build it I mean I'm I plan to make a new camp and this kit actually looks pretty nice so I might even gonna do it especially the roof I like the roof those spikes and stuff like that so that's my definitely uh, I like it uh, and yeah the brick walls pretty look good especially brick walls with uh, these metal fences I think we could I could collaborate with some of the things I already own but it, it surely should look good uh, so yeah the windows you can not actually do with them anything like they do not open or anything so you can't interact with it I tried so uh, that's uh, pretty much it I mean as I said I'm not the best camp builder out there so if you go to your uh, menu so I was to my surprise found out that there's this new tab called new <laughs> basically what I believe I just purchased and I have access to so that's how I know I didn't get <laughs> I didn't make a mistake well I hope I didn't uh, but if I did, let me know down in the comment down below so I can go. <laughs> anyway, uh, so start building those things. You will need to visit two sections. Walls and uh, floor, uh, roofs. So there we go. Right? And then you need to find them. If you have a whole bunch of stuff, it's going to be a little bit hard in my opinion to find things. Like for this specific what we are looking at uh, like this one this is the Pittsburgh right stuff and it is like it would be really nice if you pay attention to the top right corner where it says wall window right uh, wall doorway and stuff like that to like in a smaller I don't know uh, anything words saying uh, Pittsburgh neighborhood or you know because okay uh, let's say for example you bought this thing I don't know three years ago and I man what is this thing I don't even remember where the hell did I get it it looks good but I don't remember what it is what it is <laughs> you know what I mean I mean look at this right I, 
if I'm not mistaken, they were named before. I just paid attention to it. Look at that. There's no name for it. Like, this is from season two, right? And, like, no naming. So, not good. Uh, also, side note here on the new tab, right? With this uh, recharger thingy, it would be really nice to, like, once on the product description to have a little note cannot be built in vaults would be also nice I mean because they don't really tell us in which section of build area these things are uh, I mean right now I know for sure that you cannot access the resources right you can build these in vaults and without knowing that this item actually belongs in this section I would not know uh, that I'm not able to build this uh, at the vaults you know so a little bit more description on products is definitely would be a really good thing to do right Bethesda anyway but it is what it is let's start with the review of the actual thing sorry I sometimes I get away with my chit chat so this is the roof as I said I really like the roof so the roofs I'm definitely gonna put in use this roof actually looks like uh, from the roofs that we already own like we, you, we have free versions of those but okay uh, this roof with spikes this looks nice this looks dope so yeah I definitely 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 love the, the roofs uh, some of the walls are okay the, this is the doorway right where you can put the door in so this is the window another window with the metal shield another window with metal shield right this is how it's gonna like this is the inside how it's gonna look once you're inside the building this is the outside same thing outside inside not bad outside inside these are the smaller version of walls as well three of them three options then I've never used these type of builds man I don't know I need to put a little bit hard work into building camps <laughs> maybe I will start some camp build because <laughs> I'm gonna want a whole bunch of stuff from the atomic shop and stuff like that well it should be fun all right although I'm not a big uh, camp builder maybe out of all my camps I had just a few successful ones boom and boom oh wait oh yeah these ones don't have any other options to show right so that's pretty much it uh did I cover everything yeah looks to be so I did cover everything alright so this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video so I hope you found it useful and uh, you've enjoyed it if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you got something to say positive negative fe feedback feel free to comment the only thing I ask of you is not to swear and if you're new and you subscribe welcome to Z clan I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. If you want to show additional support, you can always become a member, one of the Z Clan Dragons. Uh, just click the join, or well, what is the na name of that button? I don't remember. Anyway, and uh, right now there's still war going on in Ukraine, so if you're open to any donations, I will have two funds listed down in the video description, both created by the NBU, which is the National Bank of Ukraine, one for military and the other one for humanitarian. Uh, funds so if you're open to do any charity feel free to use the links down in the video description and thank you for all the support and all, all the love and guess who's back back again <laughs> yeah I'm back to making Fallout 76 uh, with a few uh, fresh ideas so let's see how that's gonna work I tried to explain them yesterday on the live streams but essentially my internet was messed up then my electricity was messed up and basically my <laughs> stream crashed like four or five times every 20, 20 30 minutes man that was that was insane uh so i really hope maybe today i'll be able to live stream but i'm not sure anyway i'm gonna stop talking here and i'll see you all later bye from the ashes we rose into the future we'll go we are the clan we ever gamers so by the might of the sword we put the pen to the test we are the clan, we are the gamers best. The clan, the clan. Our hearts and our soul, we will forever know. Our community strong, oh, this is our song. Into the depths.
Take care.